Welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And to everybody else, as always, I am so grateful for your support. And continue to kindly share the videos, click like. I appreciate the support. All right, today I'm going to be talking about the Live Link Fest app. So I it's been a while since I got a chance to test this. You know, I should have done this much earlier on, but there was something that happened between the Un uh, Epic Games and Apple where I was nervous because they were talking about, you know, first they removed Fortnite completely from the Apple Store. And then I was like, okay, should I even, you know, consider investing time in this if it's eventually gonna it might end up being removed from the app store because this app is on the ios app store but there was some kind of uh, differences between epic games and apple um, and so it, it, it gave me pause you know but since it's there I, I wanted to share some thoughts and see and actually test it and see what it looks like and what the quality is like inside of uh, the unreal engine i'm gonna be using the this project uh, that it's a uh, it's the face AR sample, and I'm gonna take a look at it and see actually how good the quality is. I mean, I can see the frames that they share here. Uh, it looks very convincing. I mean, I've done a number of uh, videos that have to do with uh, facial animation. I, I like <laughs> doing videos in facial animation because that's where you start with a storytelling. When a character has to tell a story, you know, you have to find a way for them to speak convincingly. You look at uh, at the camera and convey that message, and so that's why I dedicate a lot of time in uh, trying to make sure that the work that I put in, and if there are sources, I mean, the resources out there that I can use to make the performance more convincing. So that's why I'm interested in uh, testing this. So let me uh, take a look at it. So I already created a project for it. So it, I'm using uh, 4.26. Let's go ahead and start it. And I'll just let it run through so you get an idea of how long it takes. And um, I think, I mean, I haven't seen an update yet on the App Store for this particular version for the uh, live link face. So it's going to be interesting. All right. So here's the project in Unreal 4.26. And the eyes look beautiful. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to see what it looks like once I connect the the app. I'm, so I'm going to fire up the app from my iPhone 10 and then test and see what it looks like. Okay. So first I need to go to the folder down here and it should be so under animations. This is the project that we need to be looking at. So double click on that. And in here, because I've already connected my iPhone, I can see this as an option here, Solomon's iPhone. So which tells me that uh, it's sending the data in here to the character. So let me see if I can adjust the camera angle. And look into the camera. All right, so <laughs> I can see it here. And let me test the lips. Ba, 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 boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's very, very impressive. Ba, 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 boom, yeah. Man, I mean, look at the blend shapes, you know, the, and the eyes. It doesn't do head rotation, and maybe that is something that uh, others have figured out, but right now I don't get the head rotation from the... I can see the head rotation in the app on my phone. But here I don't see, you know, the head rotation. So uh, let me compile and then let's look in the viewport. And let's play. Let's move this out of the way for a second. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah this is this is very 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 impressive so all this time i've been holding out on uh, testing this out but uh, apparently uh it looks really good 
it looks really good apparently it reminds me of that little kid on ellen DeGeneres, that little boy that keeps apparently yeah that word is still ringing in my head apparently okay so it looks convincing i'm very 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 impressed and so i need to see other characters i guess connected to this uh, so my next step will be to test a custom character and see how well or how convincing i can get this because i can see the blend shift for example the chicks and maybe it's the, the kind of blend shifts that you have with your character um, when i'm talking it doesn't seem to close the mouth very well so that those are things that i always look at to see you know what can be improved like when i'm uh, when i'm looking at a character that is speaking but this is pretty cool epic games you know thank you so much guys for making this available so we can actually do streaming real time into the unreal engine and be able to talk and like this so down here i see a record button so let me see new animation let's call it fates test let's record and see what happens okay it's recording um today is the day i get to test this out i've been delaying to talk about it but today i decided to talk about it okay all right let's try and see <laughs> that's not my best acting <laughs> for sure but uh let's press uh stop all right, so it has recorded, has been recorded. First test has been successfully recorded, 798 frames. All right, so gets the question is, where does it put it? Let's see, let's go back in here. Content. Face uh, test. Okay, so there it is. So if I double click on it. Okay, there it is. There's the recording. that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> so this gives me a lot of hope you know because um i mean this is the first time i'm literally testing this sample out the fact that i'm able to get some animation that that is, is of that caliber uh, gives me a lot of hope of uh, the quality that i'll be able to produce and being able to record facial animation and have uh, different texts of it is awesome so I guess, uh, again, but I'm always thinking ahead. So how do I combine this with, uh, for example, the XN suit? How do I combine it with uh, uh, the perception neuron suit? And things like that. Because I want to be able to do like a full body animation. So that will probably be my next test. But uh, this is very, 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 very impressive. I am very impressed. And I can see the recording looks great. So I guess with ray tracing, with the shadows and i think it would look different and uh so this is uh done with me holding the the phone but i can imagine if i wear my head mounted camera the homemade one together with the motion capture suit i'll be able to get a different kind of result as well and something probably better but uh this is it for uh, guys uh thank you again so much for thank you for joining me today for this quick test and i'll continue to share thoughts as i work with this I'm very impressed for sure and i highly recommend it so guys we want to get a chance just uh, give it a try and uh, let me know what you think uh bye for now and please stay safe uh, dare to dream big never give up on your dreams as always uh, bye and thank you so much for your support oh i forgot to say if you haven't if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video and kindly click that like button bye for now if you're using this app please share your thoughts in case there are some things that are missing that i should be excited about okay thanks guys bye for now